Hello everyone and welcome to early morning prayer requests and devotions. I hope everybody's all right this morning. Uh, I had everything ready for, uh, you know, devotions and everything uh, last night and I fell asleep and I was just falling asleep back and forth and I thought I had sent it out, you know, I sent it out like after midnight and I didn't. So that's why it was, I, I saw when I woke up, I was like, oh my goodness, I forgot to, uh, you know, send that out. So sorry about that. If you're used to seeing it at that at that time, um, okay, everybody. Uh, on our prayer request today, Sidra Farad would like prayer for Palestine. Uh, pray for Lisa for God's favor and blessings for several issues in her life. Pray for comfort, a happy life, and peace for PB. Her parents passed away. Jenny that had lung cancer passed away. Pray for comfort and peace for her family. Teresa has an unspoken prayer request. Pray for Fauzia and her family. Destiny's doing better but needs some more prayer. Pray for travel mercies and protection for Kim's mom, Barbara, and her, hus her cousin, Fran. Uh, Vicki would like us to pray for the people in Israel and Gaza for peace. Lipstick and Sofrito needs prayer for a relationship restoration between her older boys and her. Please pray for Deborah and her family. They are going through hard times. Ben had a stroke and is in the hospital recovering. Pray that he'll get better soon. Pray for Sarah. She's 85 and has COVID. She's taking this hard. Pray that Caden won't have to have surgery again on his shoulder. Lori's mom is still in ICU, but has been taken off the ventilator and is doing better. Her father is still weak, but is home and healing. Pray they both fully recover. Okay. All right. Our scripture of the day today comes from Jeremiah 31, 27 through 34. The days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will plant the kingdoms of Israel and Judah with the offspring of people and of animals, just as I watched over them to uproot and, and tear down and to overthrow, destroy, and bring disaster, so I will watch over them to build and to plant, declares the Lord. In those days, people will no longer say, the parents have eaten sour grapes and the children's teeth are set on edge. Instead, everyone will die for their own sin. Whoever eats sour grapes, their own teeth will be set on edge. The days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the people of Israel and the, with the people of Judah. <coughs> it will not be like the covenant I made with their ancestors when I took them by the hand to lead them out of Egypt, because they broke my covenant, though I was a husband to them, declares the Lord. This is the covenant I will make with the people of Israel after that time, declares the Lord. I will put my law in their minds and write it on their hearts. I will be their God and they will be my people. No longer will they teach their neighbor or say to one another, Know the Lord, because they will all know me from the least of them to the greatest, declares the Lord. For I will forgive their wickedness and will remember their sins no more. <coughs> voice is still a little bit hoarse okay I'm gonna drink water. all right our devotion today is entitled sins remembered no more i never saw the ice but i felt it the back end of the pickup i was driving my grandfather's fishtailed one swerve two three and i was airborne flying off a 15 foot embankment i remember thinking this would be awesome if I wasn't going to die. A moment later, the truck crunched into the steep slope and rolled to the bottom. I crawled out of the crushed cab unscathed. The truck was utterly, utterly totaled that December morning in 1992. God had spared me. But what about my grandfather? What would he say? In fact, he never said a single word about the truck. Not one. There was no scolding, no repayment plan, nothing. Just forgiveness and a grandfather's smile that I was okay. My grandfather's grace reminds me of God's grace in Jeremiah 31. There, despite their tremendous failings, God promises a restored relationship with his people, saying, 
I will forgive their wickedness and will remember their sins no more. I'm sure my grandfather never forgot that I'd wrecked his truck, but he acted just like God does here, not remembering it, not shaming me, not making me work to repay the debt I rightfully owed. Just as God says he'll do, my grandfather chose to remember it no more, as if the destructive thing I'd done had never happened. How should God's forgiveness affect how you see your failures? How can you show others grace? Father, thank you for your forgiveness. When I cling to my shame, help me to recall that in Christ, you remember my sins no more. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs. And Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer request and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also subscribe if you haven't already and share this out and hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. All right, everybody. I hope you have a fantastic morning and I'd love to see you later on a morning coffee break. Bye everyone and God bless.